But y'all want to know something else that is causing a lot of men to walk away and be alone? This right here. When men end up giving us a chance. And again, I'm talking about those respectful men. Okay. My brother said, don't say gentlemen. I'm going to say respectful men. When it comes to those respectful men that have their ducks in a row, that are ready and willing to work with you, make these sacrifices for you the whole nine. When it comes to them coming into your life, trying to help you, what do a lot of us do? We fuck it up. We say, oh, he's too nice. He's boring. We mess it up whenever it's too peaceful, uh, peaceful because, to be honest, a lot of us love dysfunctional men, dysfunctional environments. We love that. We, we thrive off of that. So you're starting to see more and more men say, I would rather not. Because if I get with her, she's going to do everything in her might, everything in her power to jeopardize this, to sabotage this, to fuck it up. Because it's not spicy enough for her. It's not intriguing enough for her. We do this. And you have more and more men saying, you know what? I'd rather be alone than to deal with this type of shit right here. This will do nothing but set me back, hold me back. And so I would rather just be by myself. Because just to say that you got a woman, it ain't worth it. That's the biggest puzzle piece to this right here. We can luck up and get the very man that we need. And we still mess it up. Let's say men have not walked away, did not walk away, and gave us a chance. We mess those situations up. Forcing more and more men to just be like, you know what? Why bother? What am I doing? Because even when I try, I fail. I can't win for losing. What am I doing here? So even when I don't walk away, I realized that I probably should have. That's the dilemma. This is also why you're seeing more and more men being perfectly okay with being alone. Because at least I have my peace. 